Hello dear brothers, hello dear sisters. Welcome to a new Bible study. And we're coming to an end of the third letter of John. Let's continue in 3 John 1 verse 9 and 10. I wrote to the church, but Diotrephus, or Diotrephus, I don't know how to say it in English, sorry about that, but feel free to read it in your own uh, translation or your own language. Um, so let's start again. I wrote to the church, but Diotrephus, who loves to be first, will have nothing to do with us. So if I come, I will call attention to what he is doing, gossiping maliciously about us, not satisfied with that. He refuses to welcome the brothers. He also stops those who want to do so and puts them out of the church. Okay, let's dive into some interesting points. In these verses, John transitions from praise of Gaius and godly teachers to condemnation of Diophrephus' actions, which he hoped to address in person as he clearly viewed this malicious lack of hospitality as a sin. Although John had written to the church about Diotrephus before, his obstruction and harmful ways continued, going so far as to speak and work against other leaders he saw as a threat to his position. Okay, verse 9 tells us also that Diotrephus demonstrated four dangerous and unacceptable traits providing us an example of an ungodly leader. First, he was prideful. He may have started as an effective leader and shepherd, but his church role went to his head. And second, Diotrephus did not acknowledge the leadership of other godly people. Instead of serving as one among a team of leaders, he sought to be primary or even sole leader. Third, Theotrephus was a gossip, slandering the Apostle Paul and even the visiting teachers and missionaries whom Gaius supported. And fourth, Theotrephus wanted total control of church leadership. He threatened to throw out anyone who opposed his decisions. Okay, brothers, the horrible example of Theotrephus provided us both a clear portrait of character flaws we ought to guard against and the need for truly humble servant leaders in the church. Pride, insecurity, malicious words and actions and the need for control all indicate a life where man has usurped the throne of his heart that only God should occupy. Should we find ourselves exhibiting the traits of pride, insecurity, malicious words or actions, and the need to maintain complete control of others or responsibilities in the body of Christ, we ought to immediately take stock of our motivations and check who is really in control and we need to check who is being served? Is it our own heart and our own pride or is it still him that deserved to be served? And lastly, brothers, besides keeping God as our master who directs our lives, let us continue to cultivate a strong relationship with seasoned brothers and sisters in Christ, capable of providing wise counsel counsel, sorry, wise counsel and holding us accountable. When they speak, we ought to hold our tongue, listen, turn to the Lord and repent. And yes, brothers, this can be hard to hear some of these things from a brother, brother or a sister or to say these things to a brother or a sister, but it's much needed. And may God bless you in all of this. Hope to see you the next time.